Yeah. All right, Trey Sermon. Um, what do you think of him? Oh, I think he, like I already said, he's the, he was the, I think he's the best player from Ohio state in this thing. You watch him play and he's just a, he's just, he's, he's a stud. He has the ability to run outside. He can, he's going to beat you. He's going to run through you. He's going to run, you know, he's going to hit seams and, and, and he has, he it seems like he has great balance and he's going to attack you. The thing that I, I watched a little bit of film on him tonight, but I'd seen a ton of film on him. Right. I mean, if you go back, I, I tweeted out on in early April, what the heck took Ohio State so long to give this start giving this guy the ball? Because you know, in watching in watching all that Justin Fields film, he just jumps out when every time he's on the field, he's making plays, and he runs the ball like, I, you know, I hate the cops, but when you watch him run the ball, he sure looks like uh, Marshawn Lynch with his ability just yeah. to just put his head down and he's going to run through you if he has to or jump over you or whatever. He's gonna he's gonna make you pay. Um. Yeah, I don't know if he's as violent as Marshawn because he was Marshawn was one on one on that one. But no, I see what you're saying. He's very violent, and I think what stands out to me is his like contact balance. He gets hit, and he's just yes, he's got a low center of gravity, but he's not small. He, he's hard to take down, and um, every time Justin Fields was in prop was in a, a problem at Ohio State, it seemed like Trey Sermon bailed him out. That Northwestern game would be a bigger scandal than it was. I mean, not a scandal, but from the perspective of Justin Fields draft stock if Trey Sermon hadn't ran for 331 yards and basically won the game and brought them to Clemson and allowed Justin Fields to play great which is what he did but that performance wouldn't have happened without Trey Sermon Trey Sermon was great and I'm sure I could I could see yep. Kyle because sometimes I feel like I could channel him and Kyle's watching Justin Fields is like man Trey Sermon's the best player in this offense what imagine Trey Lance with Trey Sermon in the same backfield that would be special if you were, I mean, if you're a yep. Trey Lance enthusiast and a Justin Fields uh, skeptic, yeah, no, I to, I'm totally with you on that because that's that's exactly because he he put up 500, he put up almost 600 yards combined in those two games. He com- he had uh, 254 against Clemson all purpose yards, 335 against Northwestern, 331 on the ground, just stud. You know who he reminds me of? Kareem Hunt runs extremely hard, really hard to take down. Hell of a running back, Kareem Hunt. And Kareem Hunt's really yeah. a lot between the tackles. Mm-hmm. That's that. that's who, that's that's what you see with Sermon. He has that ability to really press. The, he can get inside and out. He can get outside too. But he's he's fine if you want him to run yes. inside or or he's gonna you know if you got him running you know zone to the right side he's gonna press that hole and if that opens up on the backside you better watch out because he's out the gate. So it, he's gonna be he's him him and, and Lance together in a zone read scheme. Oh boy. Absolutely. I mean Trey and Trey. That's a that's a that's a uh-huh. six the hard way right there. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but yeah, no, I think we're looking at a different running back for this offense. Now that it's more of a pistol shotgun offense, you're looking for more of the Alfred Morris type running back than yep. Raheem Mostert. Uh, sorry, yep. but I mean, it's still going to be part of the offense. It's not like he's just a spread offense quarterback and can only function in the pistol like Colin Kaepernick. I mean, he has all this background and under center, but why would you not put him in the pistol, right? You would want him running some and running his own read. You, you have to use that. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I mean, I think he ran. I think they lined him up in the pistol at times in in uh, yeah. North at uh, North Dakota State. So yeah, he might as well do it. Does Sherman? Does Trey Sermon remind you guys of Carlos Hyde? He's better than Carlos Hyde. No, he doesn't remind me. But you look at the guys. That, you look at the guys that they have now. I don't. He doesn't remind me of Carlos Hyde. To answer the question. But if you look at what they've got, the odd man out in that group is is uh, Raheem Mostert. They've got three guys. Not you mention it. Jeff Wilson Jr. Wayne Gallman and Trey Sermon, all big boys, yeah. all over 215 and power and speed. 